good morning viewers and subscribers of tech point zone today is another short uh, video on how you can make your inverter batteries last longer than what most people get now what do i mean by that most times we've seen a lot of customers or home inverter owners complaining that oh i bought these batteries um and after a few months or so they are totally drained out and could uh, barely back up for more than 10, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Sometimes it's your fault. And many times it's due to low quality batteries out there. You know, we have a lot of um, low quality batteries flooding the market from China. And uh, also, even when you have very good batteries, uh, like for instance, some of the gel or two, um, some of the gel batteries from uh, Sunlight, Prague, and a few other good names out there. And I think Omaron, yeah. No matter how good the battery is, sometimes how you use the battery, how you care for the battery would also determine how long the batteries will serve you. So, going straight to the point, this is my inverter system, more like a test inverter system. And uh, it's a 24 volt system, which runs on two 12 volt gel batteries being charged by this uh, Felicity solar charge controller uh, one of the very good ones out there as long as uh, Nigeria is concerned and if you look at it it's a uh, it's a charge controller of the MPPT type and um, it can be used for three types of voltage system so as you can see you could do 12 volts 24 volts and 48 volt system so right now I'm plugged in using the 12 volt system so and down here are the heavy duty uh, DC fuses to prevent overload charging these two inverter batteries now this item right here this is what we are going to be talking about today it's what they call battery equalizer or battery balancer like some people popularly refer to it now from what you can see on the two indicators you can see that there's one battery that is about 12.8 12.9 volts and the other one is around 13.8 13.9 and sometimes 14 volts now you might be wondering why the difference in voltage now the difference in voltage is exactly the reason for this video so while listening to this please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe and even hit the bell icon for notifications when our new videos come out so coming back to the topic which is battery equalizer or battery balancer it is a device that helps you to keep your 
inverter batteries approximately equal yeah no matter how good the battery equalizer is it's not going to uh, keep your battery voltage is equal all year round because obviously you are going to be using these batteries except you are just keeping them in storage so what this device does is that it tracks the battery voltage right and uh, once there's a voltage difference of something around 10 millivolts for some manufacturers well it might be a little different so let's just say uh, 15 millivolts give or take a uh, 5 uh, millivolt difference the battery equalizer swings into action so as you can see initially this battery voltage uh, equalizer had two indicators one for each of the batteries and now it's gone off so it's a it's a setting in the equalizer that allows it to uh, shut off the indicators that's the voltage uh, display indicators when it is idle for a certain programmed amount of time and that in itself is to help you save power so that in an attempt to balance your battery voltage you don't end up using the same voltage you are trying to balance for the two batteries or four batteries or six batteries as the case may be being used up by the battery equalizer itself so now this particular battery equalizer has um two types of sensor one is sound and the other is impact so i'm not going to uh want to shout into your ears on this video not to trigger it but i'm going to do something which you're going to notice now which is the impact you can see so upon impact it triggers the what the voltage display so you can see that the voltage is displaying now and you can see um, battery B is flashing now when battery B flashes what it means is that battery B has a higher voltage than battery A and because the intelligent battery equalizer has seen that oh battery B has a higher voltage than battery A he automatically swings it to action taking battery voltage from battery B and doing what using it to charge up battery A and in the process it will be driving little little current just to do what compensate for the power difference so now let's go through all the scenarios you can have so now we're starting with battery B flashing what that means again is battery B has a higher voltage than battery A. So what it means is battery B is one charging battery A. Now when battery A has a higher voltage than B, as against B flashing, what you're going to see is battery A flashing and that would mean that battery A is one charging battery B. And when the two battery voltages are equal, can you guess? The two indicators, right? I'm talking about A and B indicator will be off. They are going to be both off. And by the time you check the battery, the voltage indicator, they will read the same voltage. But in reality, in production, that is a very rare case. Now, there's another scenario where you can have your batteries already becoming so badly. Uh, used that's when your battery is badly deteriorating so you can have it in a manner in which your any of the two batteries will be less than 10 volts please note you never don't want to get your battery below 12 volts it is safer for you to keep your battery on 12 volts or maybe on the worst case 11.5 volts any attempt to take it to 11 volts or lower you are doing what harming your battery killing your battery so now in a situation whereby say for instance battery a 
is less than 10 volts what you have is that the the indicator of battery a is going to stay on remember right now what we have is b flashing but in the case whereby your battery is badly drained say less than 10 volts if it is battery a the indicator will stay on if it is battery b the indicator will stay on and if the two batteries or the four batteries or six batteries as the case may be are all lower than 10 volts then all the indicators will stay on and uh, you might be asking yourself is it every case of a bad or deteriorated battery that is your fault no now i'll give you some very likely causes or reasons for that uh one of the most common reasons is that uh, it is from the point of purchase you know many of these batteries come in batches and uh, when some shop owners are selling many of them don't pay attention right to the shelf stay i mean how long those batteries have stayed on shelf so in a situation where you had like 200 batteries that you patched into your store like uh, six months ago and uh, out of those 200 you are left to maybe like uh, 10 of those batteries and you currently take stock of another 200. now what some shop sellers do not know and they don't pay attention to is that the newly received stock of battery right are definitely going to have what more power retention than the ones on the shelf except in a very rare situation whereby we have some shop owners who are very very uh, attentive to details and they follow the manufacturer's instructions of keeping those batteries whereby they triple charge these batteries once in a while except that what you will run to if you come up uh, if you end up buying such type of batteries whereby they have uh, more than six to eight months and sometimes a year difference between their ages is that the newly arrived batteries will have better power retention and in so doing if you start if you if you end up buying these two batteries and you're charging them especially when they're connected in uh series like the one i have here for a 24 volt system you're going to have a situation whereby the two batteries will not be having full charge one gets to full charge while the other one is not fully charged so one of your best ways out is to get a battery equalizer which will help you to be doing all the what voltage difference right uh, management in order to save the life of your battery another reason could be like in my own case here where i have two different batteries from two different manufacturers now uh, do not try this it is not advisable so it's better you get your batteries from the same manufacturer and of approximately the same manufacturing data and the same uh, stay on the shelf now you can see this battery there is one which is dark and higher and the other one is fairly long Right. these are two similar batteries but of course the same uh, um, chemical composition and that is why uh, this battery equalizer or balancer comes in handy also another reason could also be due to different degradations now naturally most batteries no matter how good or how 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 good uh, the, the manufacturing process is once you start combining batteries in numbers in other words if it's not just one battery that you are using and you don't have it in parallel and it's a, a combination of maybe serial and parallel connection to maybe attain 24 volts or 48 volts or maybe just serial connections only these things happen and in the case whereby you have multiple batteries from between four to six to eight 
they are bound to happen. So sometimes it is not your fault. But the very uh, last thing you want to pay attention to now, and one of the reasons that this might be your fault, is due to, uh, could be due to what is described as depth of discharge. Now, batteries generally are not uh, are not to supply energy infinitely. No, they run out of energy, and according to different manufacturers, there are best practices for use of many of these batteries. So, on the average. When you just get your battery new day, you discover that the voltage is around between 12.5 to 12.7, sometimes even 12.8. Now, when you are around 12.7, you are 100% okay, right? But the moment the voltage starts going down from 12.7 to 12.5 to 12.4 to 12, do not just look at the difference, meaning just 0 0.7. In actual translation, to battery depth of discharge once your battery is 12 volts i repeat once your battery is 12 volts you are close to 50 percent discharge what that means is you have almost used up 50 percent of the stored energy of the battery so be careful not to drain your battery beyond 12 volts and if there is maybe need to do so please do not make it go below 11.5 draining it up to 11 and 10 volts means you are going to have a shorter lifespan for your battery now many of these batteries have what they call cycles so if your battery under 70 percent of uh, depth of discharge it's meant to cycle, for instance, say 600 times. If you constantly use it up to 50% or lower depth of discharge, sorry, 50% or higher depth of discharge, what that means is instead of the 600 cycles, you might not be able to get more than like 250, sometimes maybe even 200 cycles and that is why some people who buy a particular battery keep to the manufacturer's depth of discharge of maybe between uh, 80 to 70 and their batteries last like two years while some others who buy those same set of batteries and uh, overuse the battery in terms of depth of discharge and those batteries will not last more than six months or maybe seven months or eight months and by the time you calculate those number of days you have used it it is going to be approximately half the number of cycles the manufacturers gave so i hope this helps someone out there please like subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when we release uh, other interesting videos thank you bye for now